Hi guys, tonight I have surprised me, which is the January bath bomb, which is $3 from Madame Macbeth. And um, it has a mixture of tons of different fruit. It has some cinnamon um, in there as well. And it's a long list. I tried to memorize them, but the way my brain works, it was impossible. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and demo it. It smells really nice and it actually I can actually smell the cinnamon in it as well but it's nicely blended with all the other fruits that are in here. Um, I'll try to remember to put the scent list below. This is again the January bath bomb. It's called Surprise Me and it is three bucks for January only and then it'll go up to the regular price of six dollars but it's so pretty. Look at all the colors on it and at the bottom it has a nice orange color. I think nectarine was one of the scents as well on here. But anyway, let's see it in action. Wow. These uh, blends of scents is really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It smells almost Christmassy to me, actually, which is super nice and I'm just gonna go ahead and let this one go because it tends the round balls usually tend to make their own bath art and stay on top so usually I take the mat in my bath and um, hold them to myself for the nights that I just want to nice cozy bath for myself. It really does kind of smell like Christmas. I don't know why. I'm sure it wasn't meant to smell like Christmas, but again, we all smell something different. It's turning to water. It looks like a nice pink. And I can see a lot of shimmer in it as I expected because there was a lot of gold shimmer on the uh, bath bomb itself. And it looks like um, it's like a sort of like a grapefruit pink so far. my recent discussions on why I hold the bath bomb up versus letting it go. This is it. Oh my gosh, the shimmer in the water. Look at that. Beautiful. Looks like the moment that I take it out of the water and then put it back in, the um, foam wants to show off. It smells amazing. Let's focus the word. It seems to always want to go to that corner. Here we go with the form show.
absolutely my favorite round bombs. This is literally when I need a break from the world and I don't want to record, which is not fair to Madame Macbeth actually. When I just want to just get away from the world, that's when I use Madame Macbeth. I don't really necessarily want to record. I just want to relax, get in the tub, and everybody leave me alone. I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to relax. I usually put a Madame Macbeth bomb in. And it's not fair because you guys then don't get to see it. And it's not fair to Madame Macbeth because then I don't get to demo her stuff as often. But... So I told myself recently that um, I'm going to start demoing more of her round bombs. Round bombs deserve love too, but unfortunately for them, they're also so loving to me that I just want to keep them all to myself. Because it literally is my favorite way to relax. They don't need to be tended to, they just tend to you. Just put them in, get in. And it just rolls around, puts on its own little color show. The moisture in the Mad Macbeth bath bombs is always exactly on point. And the uh, color show is always right on point. And I really don't have to really worry about anything. It just does what it does. And I just lay in the tub and relax and enjoy. It's getting away from me again. So I promise I will begin to stop holding the Madame Macbeth. I actually have some that I've had for quite a while um, that I will begin to start demoing for you guys so you guys can see I've been demoing more of her shaped bombs um, but they last forever they're beautiful they put on a show if you want them to they put on a show whether you hold them up or you don't um, because they float so they put on their own show um, the water is beautiful. The scent is, I've never had one from her that the scent wasn't on point. The moisture, sometimes it can be a little much with some bath bombs. Sometimes it can be uh, um, a little less than. Um, sometimes it can be way too much and way too little. This is sort of like, you know, the Goldilocks of my bath bombs. It's always just right. Always, always just right for me. And different people have different skin needs and skin sensitivities. Um, and I've found that Madame McBath is always for as far as the moisturizing level for me and for my skin, Madame McBath is always perfect for me. And that's why I always just use it selfishly without doing demos necessarily but this thing has been going for nine minutes and I've been playing with it even and look it has like an embed in the middle of it too see I'm glad I took it out that might be the surprise there's more color on the inside I she did call it surprise Wow. Lovely. Been going for almost 10 minutes. On a round bath bomb. And I've been playing with the water and it's still pretty in here. There's still color left. Usually it's just all mixed in and it's all white, but still there's still stripes of color. If I've been playing with it, I mean. 
and there's still stripes of color around even though I've been playing with it so it's holding up pretty well and over there is the new burst of color that was in the middle of the bath bomb just want to get in already. Let's see what's in the middle of it. It looks like there was a red embed in the middle. There's different embeds. Oh man, I wish I had let it go. Oh, I'm mad at myself. So that was a surprise. There were colors on the inside, which is perfect. Well, if you purchase this one, whether it's this month or next month, um, just know that there's going to be surprise colors on the inside, um, which makes it excellent. Looks like there were like two or three different color embeds on the inside, adding to the already gorgeous color. And hence extra love for Madame Macbeth. I'm not sure that I've ever really seen this um, in the bath bombs from Madame Macbeth. Look at how much foam is in. I love the crush as you guys know so um, perfect perfect bath and I'm getting in here so you guys are gonna have to kick rocks at this point. I love you guys but I gotta get in. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.